Hey y'all, welcome back to I Turtley Love It. This is Susan. And uh, in this video, I'm actually just going to talk with you about a few things. I'm going to share some notes with you and um, some happy news. All right, so um, in front of me on my desk, I have a little section of uh, bullet journals, completely incomplete bullet journals, um, except for one that I, well, I made it for work. And I used it, but I didn't use it. I'm terrible at using planners. Let's just, we just had to move on to do something different. Um, I think I liked the decorating part. And then that's what attracted me to junk journaling. Um, so I had this one I had gotten at Walmart. It's just a pen and gear. And it was sitting there staring at me. And I was like, that'll be perfect. I need this. I need a place to write down the things I've done. What, I, what do I want to do going forward? So let's just dive into this. So uh, nothing fancy in here, you guys. Just my handwriting. Susan's junk journal plans. That's original, right? Uh, let's see if we can zoom in. Whoa, wrong direction. Let's zoom in. Okay. You saw my pajamas. Uh-oh. Okay. So let's turn the page. All right. So, you know, you can see I made some errors. So we're not, you know, this is not for perfection. So I wrote down a little recap of what I did in 2022, and I didn't start till the end of October. Um, I did Marguerite Miller's collage challenge. I started at the end of October and finished at the end of December. So it's doable. It was a little stressful, but I was determined. Uh, <laughs> to fend, remember, look, just write in print, Susan, because when I try to write in cursive, you know, spelled it wrong. So to fend, remember, that was fun. I learned a lot. Um, I also find that I, I do enjoy the challenges because they, they make me focus on something where I'm creating, um, an item specifically, or it has, you know, a word that can be interpreted like the other day for junk journal in January, we had unexpected, you know, what does it mean to you? So, um, sort of a journal I guess more of a prompt than something you're making. Um, and then uh, I watched countless hours of YouTube and I almost forgot I started doing deal it up, the deal it up challenge weeks one through six. And that's with Belinda over at visualized NZ. Um, she puts the video out. She's in all, she's <laughs> it's going to say Australia. She's in New Zealand. That's what the NZ stands for. Sorry, Belinda. Um, and um, for me, it comes out here in Texas Sunday night, but for her, it's Monday. Um, so at the beginning of the week, she puts out her um, prompts and she's got uh, three sets, uh, deck of cards, and she, you know, shuffles them and flips them over. And we have an item to make. I think it's a style to make and then something to use on it. So uh, go check out those videos in my playlist. Go check out her videos. Um, and, uh, so those are fun. And, um, in 2022, I mainly focused on, let me show you. Um, this was, um, a junk journal I purchased in an Etsy haul. So it wasn't anything super fancy. It was just pages. Um, there was no pockets, nothing. So I used this for defend, remember and deal it up challenge. And, um, you know, so it's got a lot of things that might look familiar to you if you've been doing in either of those things. A few Kara Brandon. Um, I made a video of just making Kara Brandon's um, uh, things that you can make with a six by six page. Or is it an eight by eight? Those little, the little note, uh, pads of scrapbook paper. Um, so there's still plenty of room in here for me to do things. Um, but this has kind of been like an idea journal. Um, and... Uh, you know, with the animals, I guess I could have made an animal theme. I don't know. I had never done Defember Remember. So, and I never junk journaled. So that's, a, you know, completely new start. So to someone's career in junk journaling, is it a career? Passion, hobby, let's call it that. Um, so I learned a lot of things, things I would do differently, but you don't know what you would do differently until you do it the first time, right? Um, so I'll still add things to this, uh, things that I feel are kind of random, 
but I do think going forward, I have some plans. Anyways, so this is, you know, working out well for me. I, I enjoy this one. It sits over here to the side and I, I still add to it, um, especially with my deal it up challenge, but that may be changing soon. Okay, so in January, I just kind of wrote down week by week what I did. Um, each week I did the Marguerite Miller um, challenge, trying to stay on top of it now that I can start at the beginning of the year. I did all my junk journal January prompts. I enjoyed doing junk journal January. It was a little stressful trying to do something for every day and get a video out. I guess I don't have to make videos. I enjoy it. Um, and I like being able to look back at my progress. Like when I did my flip through, that was fun seeing how, like just in the journal itself, my style kind of changed from the beginning to the end. Um, and then did Color Combo 2023. That's Lou Fru Fru Studios. This was Meg Journals. Um, and then Glue Book January, uh, which is Caged Fish, with K, uh, Caged with a K. Um, and then I kind of slacked off on my glue book. And so I do still have some prompts to do. And of course, I did Deal It Up Challenge week seven and eight. And then down here, nine, 10, 11 on week three. Um, so, um, the deal it up challenge, I may try to start doing, you know, the one week in a video. We'll see. Because um, I'm not so stressed to try to push it out. I don't like making really long videos. Um, I like putting the music with my video, so I like speeding it up. You know, let me know what you think. But I like choosing the videos. If you watch my junk journal um, January flip through, then you'll know know that I've talked about that and I find I do that little laugh like that a lot I'm gonna try to stop doing that because I don't know it's me <laughs> it's kind of like listening to uh Kristen Stewart and all the um Twilight Saga movies when she does her little thing <laughs> some of you are gonna hate me for that okay let's move on all right so that was January so then I made a February ideas page um, okay, so I have a sticky note here with things to continue with. I'm going to continue with Marguerite Miller. I'm going to get to look, let me get it right. I'm going to continue with Deal It Up Challenge and Color Combo. And, um, now Deal It Up Challenge, I don't know those ahead of time. I do know the Marguerite Miller because you get the whole set when you purchase it, uh, for the entire year. Color combo, she puts it out at the beginning of the month. So I do have the combos for the month of February. Um, so week one will be paprika and tan, then apple red with teal, red, rouge red with pink, and then burgundy with black. So January was focused on grays. February is focused on reds. All right, I'm going to complete Blue Book January. Um, I felt like maybe the last couple that I did, I was just slapping some stuff on a page and, you know, I can do better than that. So I'm going to slow down. I'll finish it, but finish it with um, some dignity. Um, this is a good, uh, if you do a lot of stuff with magazines or you have magazines, Glue Book January is really your thing. And you don't have to finish it in January. That's just a personal thing when I see a, a, a time frame on it. Um, if you have kids, that want to kind of do something similar to what you're doing and you want to send them a little scavenger hunt through some your magazines that you don't need anymore. Um, that's a great thing to do. And they can use something much larger than um, what I've been using. So, you know, you can use a big spiral notebook uh, so they have more space to put their things. And then I have a little sticky note of things. I Do I want to start these? I think perhaps I might. Um, I do want to do some of Rock Roxy's weekly challenges because um, I do need to get a little stash of some ephemera going. I do have a lot of um, book pages because I do subscribe to um, House of Books, the large ephemera kit. Um, in fact, I'm getting ready to get the February one in. Um, you can go back and look at those um, unboxing videos. And uh, so anyways, I need to do something with some of those pages some of them are a little brittle and they're better for collaging with um, but quite a few of them i can use to make pockets and things 
So let's go through this stash. It's building up. Um, then there's a Valentine collab. It's only three weeks in February, and that's with Creating with Jovi and others. Um, I found it on the Creating with Jovi pay, uh, YouTube uh, channel. Three weeks. Week one is to make everything's Valentine uh, related. So week one, you're making tags or cards. Week two, you're making snippets or clusters. And week three is altered paper clips, keys, pens, or make a dangle or make dangles, plural. Okay. Um, and then I have been in the Facebook group for Sweet Bee Card Collab. This is like a deck of cards. Um, but I haven't been able to do it because I haven't been able to find a jumbo deck of cards. I guess you could do it with little cards. Um, but I don't want to. I want the big cards. And so my lovely husband gave me an early Valentine's gift. <gasps> I got a jumbo deck of playing cards. I'm excited. So he just ordered these off of Amazon. And um, I'm ready to get them open and get started on that. And uh, anyways. All right. That's that. Um, so I'll probably do that one and hers, she's got two a week. Um, and so I've, I need to get caught up. She's already got five weeks in. We had dessert and gold carnival and numbers road and Brown postcard and bear courage and glitter. And she just pulls them out of a, as a cup or a jar, um, just pulls out two words and we make those. So I need to get caught up on those. And if I can kind of make them, relate to some journals I'm getting ready to make instead of just a generic journal general come on Susan journal um that would be fabulous so I want to do that and then over at crafty cat she's done the 50 snack challenge the first one where you had the guest checks I may go back sometime and do that one oh. All right. Sorry about that. My uh, husband called me. So in the last video, I mentioned that uh, I may have said he was with his in-laws. Now he's with my in-laws. He's with his parents. Uh, keep his dad in your prayers. He's you're ready to have a procedure done. Procedure done, and we are all praying for him, um, for everything to go as smoothly as it is planned to be. And uh, I know everybody has their nerves. And biggest hugs to them, and all the prayers. Uh, okay, so I was talking about, oh, the 50 stack challenge too. Um, so this one, she has, is doing opposites uh, and it's only 25 week. Um, and so like week one in, or the, you know, was the first week, 25 week season, the first two were winter, summer, uh, and then young and old and then fast and slow moon and sun. And then uh, the current one is funny and serious. So. I'm going to get caught up on those, I think. Um, but she had the first one where she actually used guest checks. Um, but she said, you don't have to use guest checks. You can use whatever. Uh, same thing with this. Um, but just whatever you're making. Like if you want to make tags, you know, you just make one winter theme, one summer theme. If you hear singing in the background, that's my youngest in the shower singing. <laughs> All right. So um, those are the ones that I'm aware of currently that I have been in the, my fourth thought of my mind that I want to do. Um, okay. And then I have another sticky note to add up here. These are some things I want to make uh, in February. I want to make a themed journal um, where I don't know if I'm actually going to write in it, but I want to make the journal and the things that go with it. And I don't know, maybe give it away because I've reached 200 subscribers. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but I want to do a giveaway soon. Um, I don't know if my journal would be worthy of that. Uh, I may love it too much and want to keep it. Um, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I'll make videos of the progress. Um, but right now I'm waiting on the paper to make it. And I'm also, <laughs> I need to get a brown paper bag. I guess I need to visit a grocery store that still has them uh, or put out a um, APB to my coworkers for a brown paper bag. Um, all right. And then the other thing I want to make, and I didn't make a video. I showed it in a video. 
Um, and then I shared it on Instagram, a label holder booklet, if that's what you want to call it. I don't know if you want to call it a journal because it's like the size of a journal. Um, but how I made this, I mean, other people have some. And uh, hang on one second. Oh, it's a real hoot around here, you guys. Um, so my daughter, my oldest daughter left with my husband to go visit my in-laws. And they're in North Carolina. And that daughter has a guinea pig that my youngest and I are tending to. And it's in her room. And we've set up the camera so they can, my husband and her can check in on Biscuit, the guinea pig. And so I heard her calling her in the background. <laughs> and then I yelled back, just give me a minute to finish my video. Jeez Louise. Okay. Anyways. Uh, there's my husband yelling. Hang on a second. I don't know. Maybe that's just a sign I need to finish, you guys. Okay. Anyways, uh, if you're interested in me making a quick video on how I made this, uh, I know some have made them with vellum, but I did not use vellum. Um, I need to make more because I have way more labels, and I can't see them when they're all in the... I mean, I have, like, this one's just my numbers and some words, and I just can't see them all when they're stacked on top of each other. Um, and then I need one for all my journal prompts and quotes, and I, I just can't see it all, and I, I feel like I, I spend a lot of time thumbing through stuff. So um, I plan to make more of these here in the month of February. You do need it. Well, for this version, you do need a sewing machine. Okay, everyone. Well, um, I'll probably continue to show some Etsy hauls in February. Maybe some thrift hauls. Uh, I don't know. I may. This may be my no spend month. Um, I'll just let my husband buy the stuff. <laughs> Does that work? <laughs> All right. Um, so maybe from time to time, I'll keep you posted on uh, how I'm progressing through the things here. Um, and, and if I do it as I go, you know, maybe it won't be quite as messy as January was. And uh, and I can allow myself if I need more space, but I really don't want to take more space. So, <laughs> All right, you guys, I don't know if you do anything like this. If you do, uh, let me know down in the comments. Um, I appreciate each and every one of you. I appreciate my 200 subscribers. Oh my gosh. Um, and number 200, you know who you are. You announced you were number 200 and that just made my day. Uh, so thank you to all 200 of you. Um, thanks for stopping by. If you've made it to the end of this video of me talking, man, you're awesome. And, uh, <laughs> Uh, sorry, there was no music in this one. It was just me. I guess I could have sung for you, but that's not as good. And, uh, gosh, I can't wait for February to start and all these things. So thanks for stopping by. And until next time, friends, bye-bye.